Welcome everybody, it's Paul here. I wanted to try something new, so we're going to take a look at Reddit, more specifically the subreddit r slash facepalm for all your daily doses of really awkward cringe. Enjoy. This post says they just want to make history. Russian mother of 11, addicted to motherhood, vows to have 105 kids. Christina Osterk, 23, and her 56-year-old husband, Gallup Osterk, ooh, say they want to have, wait, they want to make history by having 105 kids. How does that work? Like, it's nine months of gestation. I feel like I need to blow my calculator. Let's see, 105 divided by, suppose they have, like, during vitro fertilization, it's like, Maybe five tops? That would be 21 pregnancies, which would be nine months each, which would be 109 months, which would be the equivalence of being pregnant for 15 and three quarter years. That's gonna take a while, and I don't think anybody has that kind of money to be able to raise that many kids. But what would I know? Let's see, the next post says human. What makes us human? Select all images with traffic lights. There aren't any. Da, da, da. The next post says the shell is really stuck in there. Oh, it's a projection. I see, I see. But I don't think he's realized it yet. How old is this dude? I have so many questions. Our next post says, just a bunch of dots, because they're speechless. Oh my god. Oh my god, why, why would you? French and Belgian are white. What does she not understand? This has to be a troll post. That lady has to be trolling it. She can't be real. People cannot be this stupid. Our next post says, all the red flag sounds great. And it's a tweet of a, tw a retweet of a tweet. And according to them, what to look for in a wife should be the following. Red flags, atheist, nihilist, and feminist, vegan, knows how to twerk, um, thinks babies are bad for the environment, listens to Cardi B, and that other woman rapper, but doesn't say what it is. Has purple, green, or blue hair. Wears a nose ring. Is a cat lady. Drinks alcohol. Smokes weed. Green flags. Traditional Christian. Steak fajita enthusiast. <laughs> Knows how to bake. Loves babies and wants to have as many as possible. Listens to Thomas Sowell audiobooks. I don't know what... I don't know who that gentleman is. Has really, really, really super long, natural, healthy hair. Wear sundresses, is a goat lady, drinks herbal tea, and churns butter. I don't know about you, but I think if she's a goat lady, you might have some other problems. You might need to get an exorcist. A man tried to flip a table over. He was drunk. I feel like I saw this crow's posted somewhere. But yeah, when it comes to flipping a table, don't do it lengthwise. Do it with-wise, but hopefully he gets better. Our next post says, No, this is Patrick! Panama has gun control, and it's wonderful. Go to Panama if you want. This is America. And the lady says, I am in Panama. This is Facebook. Yep. Don't assume the person you're interacting with on the internet comes from the same country you are. Anyway, our next post says, Dumb Boyfriend. And it says, My boyfriend turned down five fully paid scholarships just to stay here with me. Really love this man so much. And Matt Walker responds, Your boyfriend is dumb as sh And I certainly think so too. Our next post says, Well that is a lot of information. <laughs> Julia Roberts finds life and her holes get better with age. <laughs> Correction. 
A headline on page D4 in Saturday's Post Journal should have read Julia Roberts finds life and her roles get better with age. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think the writer's ever gonna live that down. I wonder what it's gonna be like when their next interview comes along. Uh, yes, uh, we like your resume. We think that it's really cool what you got to uh, write in your portfolio. It's pretty interesting. We just wanted to ask you about this one article you wrote. Yes. Yes, it, it says here about somebody's holes. Would you care to explain about that? Our next post is facepalm with flower. Oh! <laughs> it certainly isn't. Next time, don't put your... Uh, don't put your cutting board over the edge. You might make it into a lever arm. Our next post is Saint Diego. A post from Twitter says, The lady just came up to me and said, Speak English. We are in San Diego. So I politely responded to her, uh, responded by asking her, How do I say San Diego in English? The look of bewilderment on her face made it feel like a Friday. The next post says, Facebook flat earthers in a nutshell. <laughs> This is a crater from a hard meteorite impact in Arizona. And this is uh, in Australia. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Our next post says, nice mango. That's not a mango. <laughs> that is an avocado. I hate when that kind of stuff happens. Y you had one job. You just needed to give it the right label. And if, if not, you could just like tape it over right on top of it. It's not that difficult. You had one job. Our next post says, good and embarrassing at the same time. Twitter user, aka Demis Klees, bleh, I don't know how to pronounce it. A Twitter user posts, last month my cat disappeared. A week ago, I found him and brought him home. Today, my cat came back. Now I have two identical cats. Oh wow, that's really awkward. And they look so similar, it's so weird. I've never seen such a spitting image in my life. Our next post says, Somebody know what part of the Bible describes the workout routine to get the body of Christ? Yeah, that is a good question. I'm pretty sure... A humble life as a carpenter wouldn't get you that ripped. The next Reddit post says, You scared me! She saw her husband struggling, putting the baby back to sleep, so... She decided to come in and help. The elements of surprise is very overpowered. Our next post says, He isn't very good at hints. And this is a Reddit post of a Reddit post. It's Reddit Inception. Oh man, I did the same thing. And they got a reward. It says, A girl asks me if we can study together since I was doing pretty well in class. We meet up and she insists we go find a quiet part of the library where it was just the two of us. Looking back, she pretty much just asked me questions about my life, laughed a lot at anything funny I said, and touched my arm and leg a few times. We never studied at all, and I remember leaving there thinking, no wonder she isn't doing too well in classes. She isn't very good at studying. Aw oh, man, somebody's gotta let him know that studying wasn't supposed to be actually about studying. Anyway, next post. The next post says, the wisdom and the experience of the veteran. That's it. Oh man, he's making his own DIY ripcord. This is not going to end well. He's gonna pull the ripcord, he's gonna get the entire thing to start up. <laughs> and he pulled the whole thing over. Next time he'll make sure that it's actually held in place. Maybe his buddy will help. Anyway, our next post says, Young birds think the food will jump into their mouths since their mother fed them like this. Oh wow, that's awkward. <laughs> I feel so bad for this bird. Like, come on. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just, just give it some time. Just give it some time. It'll figure it out. Our next post is... Almost as brilliant as nuking hurricanes. Oh boy. Oh boy, what are they saying? Why has no one ever experimented with placing cement in the mouth of volcanoes considered active? 
as in the image, or with heavy metal rocks. And when erupting, the lava would be blocked, preventing deaths and accidents. Uh... Someone gonna tell her that there's a lot more pressure when it comes to those thermal vents than just a plug of cement or heavy rocks is going to stop? But our final post for today is brilliant, a glass floor. I don't think I can play this mu music, so we're just gonna backtrack to the very beginning. And the lady just falls into it. I'm just surprised there aren't any clear barriers around the pool though, because like there's usually like a lip to usually try to stop things from like falling in or just rolling in. But like there was no indication of that whatsoever and she just walked right in. Like there's no color coordination, no uh, physical cues for the visually impaired or any of the other stuff. It just looked like a glass floor to her and she just walked right into it. Oh well. Better luck next time. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. I will see you in the next one and until then, take care, stay awesome, stay true to yourself, and remember to never give up. Bye everybody.